Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and former President Donald Trump has made a massive decision when it comes to who his vice presidential running mate's going to be, and he's made the phone call. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So ever since we knew Trump was running for president, and once we knew he had the party's nomination locked up, rumors have really started to ramp up about his short list, who's on it, who he's going to pick for vice president. And you got a lot of names on there. You got Christy Noem, you got Tim Scott, you got Vivek Ramaswamy. You had a plethora of people on there. And, you know, a lot of speculation going to, is he going to pick somebody? Is he going to pick a woman? Is it going to be a black woman, a black man? Is it going to be a person of color at all? Is it going to be another white man? Who's it going to be? Well, he's made a decision and the decision is he's ruled out one person, officially ruled out one person, according to Bloomberg. And that person is Vivek Ramaswamy. Now, according to Bloomberg News, Trump made the call to Vivek Ramaswamy to let him know personally that he was out of contention. But he did have other spots in the administration in mind for him, including Homeland Security. I like Vivek. I think he's got a bright future and I like the idea of having him on staff. I don't think he's ready to be vice president. He's too young, too inexperienced, and I'm going to agree with Trump on this. But I want you to watch what Vivek said about the possibility of being vice president a few weeks ago when he was talking to Fox News host Jesse Waters. And then I want you to give me your opinion on this decision. Do you agree or disagree with it? Let me know. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. Former Republican nominee for president, Vivek Ramaswamy joins us now. Vivek, which party, the Republican or Democratic Party, is more united right now? I think at this moment, undoubtedly, it's the Republican Party. But even beyond that, Jesse, we have a country that's united even outside of the traditional Republican Party. America first includes all Americans. I've traveled to inner cities. I was just in Michigan, from auto workers to the inner city, from people in rural communities to suburban you have to think Americans have their heads stuck in the sand if they haven't noticed that we don't have a southern border right now, that we actually have a wave of crime across cities in this country, that prices have gone up, that interest rates have gone up, but wages have remained flat. And I think a lot of this left wing media has themselves in a delusion to think that black Americans or any Americans of any skin color haven't noticed what's actually happened in their life right now. And so. I think we could be on track, Jesse, for a unifying landslide Reagan 1980, 1984 style election. If we make this as a party about what we actually stand for, restore the rule of law, seal the southern border, restore merit to economic growth in this country, success is unifying. And I think that's our message. And I think we're going to be very successful. And the Democrats are going to be licking their wounds if we stay on message. CPAC had a poll about VP candidates over the weekend. You were, I believe, first or second or tied for first, something like that. I forget who you were tied with. What was that again? Was it? Yeah, so look, I, 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 what I've said is I'm going to respect whatever decision President Trump makes. We can't take the election this November for granted. That's actually the next step right here. So there's a deep bench. There's a lot of great people in our party. I'm going to support whatever decision he makes. But most importantly, we have to win in that decisive election this fall. That's my sole focus. And I think that, Jesse, one of the things that President Trump has said that I've really appreciated is that, you know what our vengeance is? Success is our vengeance. That's the American way. I think we live in a 1776 moment right now where what our founding fathers would say is, you know what, pursue excellence, do it as one nation, and if we do that, we're going to be successful. All right. Success and a little bit of vengeance. Just a little bit. Just like for dessert. <laughs> Vivek, thank you so much. Look, I think success is our vengeance and we're going to stick to it. <laughs> it's thank a great you, line. I'd stick with that line if I were a politician as well.